New York Yankees fans yet again. It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like almost us. Good morning, Yankees fans. Here's why, obviously, everybody knows. One of these two players, Manny Machado or Harper, they're going to be New York Yankees. Also, for the people that are saying, can we have both? It's possible. Here's why. The Yankees are resetting when it comes to the luxury tax thing. And in my opinion, that's why they're getting beat. Because other markets are saying, let's make a winner. And by doing that, you get people's attention. You get more sales, uh, merchandise being sold, etc. Not that the Yankees don't do that, because they do, even if they were over the luxury tax. But these other teams, like let's say the Boston Red Sox or the Dodgers, they take that approach. But from the Yankees' angle, they didn't want to keep continue to let's say help these teams like the royals you know those teams that come out of nowhere and win the world series and then they collapse and you never hear from them again but it was all long overdue so you can't um criticize the yankees when it comes to that so in a perfect world what would i do how would i reshape the yankees or improve the yankees i would try to get rid of john carlos stanton i like stanton but in my opinion, when you have a DH that's primarily going to DH for the rest of his career once he gets up there in age, making $32 million per season, and then it goes back down to like 28, I mean, that makes absolutely zero sense. Also, for the people that compare him to A-Rod, A-Rod was another animal. Even Michael K had to say the same thing on his radio show yesterday. This is going to sound bad, but at least with A-Rod, you knew that he was out there in the back taking uh, gummy bears to at least help his team win. And I'm not saying that John Cole Stanton should do that. What A-Rod did was wrong. But you can't compare their mindsets. A-Rod, in my opinion, was a more competitive player. And if you follow A-Rod on Instagram, you'll see he's still working out. He's still going hard. Literally, he's still doing a whole bunch of cardio, like hardcore cardio at about like 44 years of age. So no, you can't compare those two players. Completely different players. A-Rod was literally a 5-2 player. John Carlos Stanton is uh, a, he's maybe a 3-2 player or 2. And like I said, I'm not trying to insult John Carlos Stanton. But like I said, I don't see him making it in New York when you have a player like Aaron Judge that, let's say, he's out for a couple of months. John Carlos Stanton is there, carries the team for like two weeks. And then shuts down again. And then again, you saw him shut down come playoff time. That's too wishy-washy. That's too up and down. I prefer somebody like a Manny Machado or a Harper. Who you know that are 5-2 players. Rather than, let's say, a John Cole Stanton that you just hope he hits a home run or drives and runs. And I also like the sound of having Gary Sanchez DH making about 500 k per season. I mean, that makes absolutely perfect sense. I made a video like a few months ago stating that. In the perfect world, I'll try to trade for JT Realmutu and uh, try to trade away Stanton to the Dodgers and have Gary platoon catching once in a while, but primarily be your DH because it makes perfect sense. Gary showed up this playoff run, but we all saw he cannot catch for a full season. But I also like the idea of making Luke Voigt your DH as well, making around 500K as well. Here's how the Yankees are going to have to reshape their team if, let's say, they go after Manny Machado or Harper. At this point, it looks like they're going after Manny Machado. Obviously, he's playing in the playoffs still. Obviously, they're not too impressed with Andahor at third base, sitting him down, taking him out late in games for defensive purposes and not starting him a game. So, the Yankees made up their mind. In my opinion, they're going to go after Manny Machado. But um, but it's a situation now that you could keep Andor. Obviously, you're going to have to plug Andor over in left field or first base. But, I like Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon is funny. Andrew McCutcheon is a great clubhouse guy. Andrew McCutcheon draws walks. Andrew McCutcheon works up the counts. Andrew McCutcheon does everything right, and you know what to expect from McCutcheon. 
So I would like the Yankees to try to re-sign him. Also, see if you could bring back Hecha Roria. But in this insane world, let's say the Twilight Zone, let's say that the Yankees go after a Harper, go after a Machado. You still have to try to move John Carlos Stanton. And if you are successful because you blocked two players from signing with the Dodgers, there's a good possibility that the Yankees could move John Carlos Stanton. And it's money off of the books, which makes it possible to sign these two players. Like I said, the Yankees are resetting their luxury tax. They have about what? What's the number? 20% more to spend this offseason? Going over whatever cap they had? Or whatever? However that works? If you do know exactly how that works, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I don't have it in front of me. So let's say the Yankees don't bring back McCutcheon. Let's say they don't try to go for Manny Machado. Leave Andujar at third. You sign Harper and get to keep John Colo Stanton. Because the other way around, if you get Manny Machado, you're going to have to do this and that. You're going to have to rework a whole bunch of players' positions. And it really looks like a mess. The easiest path to avoid all that is by signing Harper. And for people that hate Harper... Uh, he's a better, in my opinion, he's a better pickup than the pickup that the Yankees did last season, acquiring Joe Carlos Stanton, at least Harper. You know he's a 5 to a player. You know he's going to hit for average. You know the intensity that he's going to bring. You know that he's going to break a bat if he doesn't produce, if he doesn't come in a clutch situation. So that's what I like about Harper the most. Obviously, Harper is going to be cheaper than Machado. Machado is... Uh, Increasing his value right now in the playoffs. Who knows if he reaches the World Series. They're, obviously, both of them are going to be expensive. But if you ask me, Machado is going to be the more expensive one from the two. But like I said, with these scenarios, if you try to move John Carlos Stanton, there's a good possibility that you can sign both of them. Because that's the only way you can trade a John Carlos Stanton to the Dodgers. Also, when it comes to pitching, I do not believe Corbin is going to be an ace on the Yankees. He's going to be one of those other pitchers that give the Yankees innings. Uh, helps the Yankees win, but he's not going to be an ace. The ace that the Yankees have been missing for years now. Take a look at the sale. Wasn't at 100%. Shut down the Yankees because he's a real ace. Understand what I'm saying, folks? A real ace is a pitcher... That can pitch close to 100 miles per hour. Not an Nathan Nivaldi, but a pitcher that can pitch 100 miles per hour and is just nasty with his off-speed stuff. That's a real ace. So yes, you can look for the Yankees to target a Corbin. But like I said, in my opinion, he is not an ace, at least on the Yankees. At least in the L East. At least when it comes to playoff time. At least when it comes to when the Yankees need a shutdown pitcher the most. He's not that guy. In my opinion, the ghost of Gary Cole is going to haunt the Yankees for a long time. There's not pictures available that you can obtain via free agency or trades that are similar to a picture like that. Young, high strikeout rate, high velocity, etc. Oh, really, a real ace. Also, you can expect the Yankees to move uh, Sonny Gray in the offseason. I could see Billy Bean and Cashman working out a deal. To have Sonny Gray go back to the A's. Because we all saw the A's were a playoff team. Adding more starting pitching. Especially for the A's. That you saw their starting pitching break down. Is a plus. And if the Yankees could at least. Get one of those players they originally. Traded for Gray. Let's say. Uh, Caprillion. Then I'm all for it. Because Sonny Gray at this point. He's just going to have to be given away for free. So let's review what I said here. If the Yankees go after Manny Machado, obviously it's a situation where Andahor remains a Yankee. Not like this trade deadline. Everybody wanted to trade Andahor. But now you have the option to move him in left field or first base. But then again, you get Machado and Harper. Andahor is going to have to play first base. 
Luke Voigt, who, in my opinion, could be a great DH. I could see him DHing. The old man out this whole time has been Joe Colo Stanton. Like I said, I like Stanton. But it just doesn't make sense to pay him all that money where let's say he doesn't show up come playoff time. And let's say, I don't, me personally, I don't just have, a, I don't have the patience to wait for John Caller to show up. People are saying to give him a season, but he's not A-Rod. And me personally, I don't want to wait a full season just to see if John Caldwell Stanton is going to show up come playoff time, if the Yankees even make the playoffs. Also, another, you could argue that Hicks could be a old man out. You could argue that the Yankees signed Harper to play center field. There's a whole bunch of scenarios that can happen if, let's say, you do want to sign a Manny Machado and Harper. But you can't have both unless John Cole Stanton is moved. And no, you cannot have all three. That would be insane, all those big contracts. But it was projected and predicted that the Yankees someday could sign Machado and Harper. So that's not out of the ordinary. It's been there for years now. Also, I would like to see the Yankees get rid of Marcus Timms. I would like to see the Yankees get rid of relying too much on the home run ball. I would like the Yankees to, let's say, approach games with a different attitude, with a different game plan. Obviously, they got exposed this series versus the Red Sox. Once you can't hit home runs, you're basically done. Just as what we saw with the A's. The A's couldn't hit home runs. They lost. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Who do you want the Yankees to retain? Who do you want the Yankees to get? Who do you want the Yankees to get rid of? This season, this offseason, we're going to make it an issue to make issues go viral. To make the Yankees front office listen to individuals like myself, the Samanetti source, or whoever is making videos online, Bobby Booms, etc. And obviously, what we're saying comes from you guys. So your input and insight is needed. We're going to make it an issue to make these thoughts of ours go viral. And have them second think what can help the Yankees win a World Series championship. Because we all know the main issue first is starting pitching. Which really they've been fumbling on for years now. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.